Stitching Friends. Uh, welcome to episode five of Stitching with Reese. Uh, I'm Reese, and this is a video about cross stitch. Um, as most of you are probably aware, but if you're not and you've just stumbled across this, unless you're really into cross stitch, you're not going to enjoy it. Um, okay, so. Um, Firstly, I just wanted to say a massive thank you to everyone who commented on my last video. Um, thank you for all your comments and your kind words. I'm glad that um, you enjoyed the tour of uh, the Cruel... I don't know if it's Goblin or Goblin. I, it's like my, my local shop and I don't even know. Um, I think it's Goblin. I don't know. I don't know. Um, anyway, glad that everyone enjoyed uh, my little video of... Um, the little tour of the shop and um, seeing some of my stitching friends from my sewing group at the shop and some of their lovely uh, works in progress and finished pieces. Uh, in terms of what's happening at the moment, um, we are in, um, what's it called? Oh God, I don't know, lockdown, self-isolation, I don't know, whatever it's called. Um, basically, we have to stay home. Uh, I'm still working. Uh, my job is considered an essential service. I'm still working. I'm mostly working from home, uh, but I do go into the office every now and then, mostly when I have to appear in court because they're now conducting all the court cases in a virtual courtroom. Um, it's been a bit hit and miss in terms of um, success with the technology. Um, it, it generally works okay. Uh, but I think just because of the sheer volume of people that are suddenly using all these uh, programs and, and you know, using a heap of broadband data connecting to meetings and things like that for work, um, I think the, the whole system is just struggling a bit under the weight of it. But it's been okay. It's a bit stressful um, when you're trying to dial into a courtroom and there's a judge sitting on the bench, sitting on the bench waiting for you and you're like frantically typing to the judge's um, associate, like their, their assistant being, and you're typing, I'm trying, I'm still trying to connect. I'll, I'll be there in a second, you know, apologize. It's a bit stressful. Anyway, all good. So, um, so I have been working still, so I, I haven't, um, my stitching time has increased a bit in terms of uh, the commute. I mean, I did stitch on the train anyway, but now I'm still getting up at the same time of in the morning and then I'm just doing some stitching for a couple of hours before I start work um, from home, uh, that sort of thing. Um, I've really been enjoying watching everyone's videos. Uh, lots of people have been posting sort of extra little videos um, and uh, it's been really good. Uh, Brenda and Serial Starter have been doing some lovely videos um, where via, you know, long distance, Brenda's at home and Laura's at her home and it's just really cool. Um, and other people have been doing some cool stuff like um, dive, like stash diving um, and that's actually, I'm going, in the second half of this video today, um, I'm going to do a little stash dive. Um, I've got a, like a basket or a, a cloth bucket thing of like small scale patterns. When I say small scale, I don't necessarily mean that the pa the pattern itself isn't big, but they're in like little packets. So I've, I've got them stored in like a, I don't know, it says something in French, but in like in here because they, you can keep them upright. So I thought it might be fun to just have a look through. I might not go through the entire basket. It seems like there's quite a lot in there, um, but no doubt it'll be me just saying, oh, why haven't I started this? Oh, I love this. Oh, I really need to get to that. So, but it's fun. Uh, so that I'll do that in the second half of the video. So if that's something that you're not really interested in, um, you can switch off uh, before we get to that bit. Uh, so I'm going to show you a couple of things that I've been working on since my last video. Um, I've got a couple of finishes since my last video, small finishes. Uh, I don't have much haul. Um, I've got a little bit. I'm still waiting on a fair few packages of things that I've ordered. Obviously, the post... Um, around the world at the moment is is delayed uh, so hopefully I think some things might be coming next week but yes I'm still waiting on a few bits and pieces but that's fine uh, I did get a little bit of haul um, uh, so I'll start I might start with the finishes because that's always exciting um, so uh, one of the things I was working on 
around the time of my last video and I finished was this uh, Spring Frolic at Bunny Hill by Brenda Gervais. That's the chart. So it's Easter theme, I guess, or bunny themed. And this was a pretty quick little stitch that she and there's my little finish. So it came out really cute. Um, the little over one. But are they butterflies? Bees? Oh, I don't know what they are. They're cute. Yeah, so that's my little finish. Um, so that was done on... It called for Legacy by Pitch This Plus, but I didn't use Legacy. I think I used Primitive Grey by R&R, &R maybe. 36 count uh, with the called for... Called for... Called for... Weeks weeks and general arts and classic color work so it's kind of a mix of everything um i don't think i ch i didn't change any of the colors i don't think no i didn't change any of the colors so that's cute so the way that the pattern tells you to finish it they've they've mounted it on one of those lone elm shaker boxes um we can't get those in australia i think i could probably order it from from brenda gervais website but i was thinking of actually taking one of those chinese like bamboo rice steamer things that are like really cheap and but they're circular and and mounting it in the lid of one of those and then maybe painting it or something I don't know anyway that's a finishing project for later but yeah so bunnies done very cute uh and the other thing that I finished I actually started and finished this in between my last video and now um, and it was my friend, uh, Jean, Miss Lennon, uh, who was, who appeared in, in the Cool Gobelin video. And a, a few of you commented about how lovely she is. And that is correct. She is very lovely. Um, she sent me a link to someone's Instagram. I think it was Yogi, Yogi Knit Girl, maybe, had finished this little pattern. And, um, I had kitted this up when I was at the Cool Gobelin. See, I say Gobelin. Um, I kitted it up when I was there, um, intending it for it to be like one of my Nashville starts at some stage. But then when I saw this finished one on Instagram, I was like, oh, I need to just start that. And I finished it because it's not actually a huge amount of stitching in it. Um, but it is, oh, I'll show you the, oh, God, it's all gone. It's chaos. Here we go. Um, Louisa Clark by La Di Da. This was a Nashville release this year. And it's really cute. And I finished it. And there's my little finish. So this was on um, 40 count vintage light exemplar. Just It was actually a leftover piece I had from when I cut the linen for um, Sarah Stewart Hardman. Uh, and just it's DMC. And it's lovely. And these little rows of of this tealy colour all along here are uh, Smyrna crosses and they were quite fun to do. That's not a um, that's not a difficult stitch at all really. It's just like a cross stitch and then with a couple of extra bit arms in there. So that was very cute. Um, and the fabric that I'm actually holding behind it, I think, is the fabric that I want to use for the back. Um, I mean, I'm going to turn it into a little pillow. It's a bit hard to see. Well, the camera's not picking it up that well, but those little tiny dots are actually little red dots. So I thought that went quite well with the red berries and the green. Um, so, yeah. Uh, and the reason I haven't, I was actually going to make this up, uh, but I need to get some um, interfacing to put on before I make it into a little pillow before I fully finish it. So hopefully next video it'll be fully finished. So those are my two finishes. Uh, then what I've been working on, um, is two new starts since my last video, I think. I think in the, in my last video, oh yeah, because it was the Nashville haul, I showed that I'd purchased this chart, Manor at Quaker Hill by Brenda Gervais, as part of my Nashville haul. Uh, and I actually got the threads at the same time. And then it turned out that I had a piece of the called for linen in my linen stash, which is 36 count uh, Legacy by Pictures Plus. So I got a start 
Uh, so I pretty much started it straight away, actually. It's something about it just really, you know, called me. Um, and a few other people are stitching this too, and it's just really lovely. So I'm just taking the needle out of it. Um, so I started... Uh, here we go. So here's my progress so far. So I've pretty much done all the way to the bottom. Those little two little red birds at the bottom. There's some satin stitch grass that runs all the way along, but that's pretty much the bottom and that's the top. So um, I'm currently, wee, currently just working on this um, centre flower, which is this one here. So I've done that. And then obviously I haven't done any of this bit yet. But um, it's a really, really fun stitch. This colour is so cool. This um, tealy colour that's called lettuce leaf. Oh, I love it. I hope it's. I'm going to use it in more stuff because it's just, it's such a great little pop colour. So anyway, that's my progress. So that's uh, a really fun little stitch. Um, if you're, going, if you're stitch, going to stitch this or if you are stitching it, you may have already worked out um you're going to need way more than one um skein of um oscar by weeks um it's basically the the main green in everything and i've almost run out of my first skein and i'm probably not even a third of the way through the amount of oscar that's in this piece so um pro tip get about three of them i reckon the pattern doesn't really doesn't say one way or the other uh, so that's one, that that I'm working on. Uh, and then the other day, actually, <laughs> yes, it was only yesterday. Uh, I put in an emergency, well, not an emergency. I already had it on order. Um, the Sewing Club book by Blackbird, which I missed. Well, I didn't miss out on, but I all the copies had gone um, by the time I got my order. Uh, but it, it, but the cruel Goblin got some ex got the next shipment in so uh they i asked them to mail it out to me at home uh include and including all the threads for all the projects in the book um so that i could basically just work my way through the book um and do whichever project i want so here's the book i've got bits of linen hanging out of it because i've selected some linen for a few of the projects and these are wee, all the colors for all the projects Oh, there's a few missing, but not many. Um, so I then decided to start this one. I like to do the chart, uh, which is in my garden. Actually, there's a better picture of it there. there. Um, so they have charted it for 28 count, this gingham-y linen, which is really lovely. But I am not a fan of 28 count two strand type stuff. So I decided, and I'm currently on a real like everything in mini or everything in micro kick at the moment. So I decided to start it on a piece uh, of leftover. I've been getting all my off cut linens, like leftover bits that I've got in a little bag called like linen odds and sods or whatever. Uh, and I found this little piece. Little needle there. Um, I found this little piece of Lakeside Vintage Pearl Barley again that I'd had left over from some other project, just a little off cut, and it actually um, is just the right size for 40 count. So I've actually just started and I've been working on this just the last couple of days. It's a, here it is, and there's my little duck. So got the just working on the house at the moment. I've done the we I've done the little a few of the little trees or plants, flowers. I've done the word in. Um and it's really cute. Uh I really let's get the colour coming up a bit better. No, not really, it was better before. Um Yeah. So that's really cute. So I'm hoping to have that finished pretty soon. I'm not going to turn it into a drum uh, because, well, first of all, I don't have enough fabric, uh, but also I'm not confident in terms of finishing drums. I've never done one. I will one day, but um, I kind of like it just as a little, I might just maybe just um, 
you know, hem it or something and just have it as a little, a little piece like they have here, you know, just like they've got it here, just kind of just sitting with some other bits and pieces. Anyway, so that's the other thing I've been working on. Oh, it's got linen falling out all over the place. Um, pretty much all the projects in this book are amazing, as you've probably seen a lot of people um, these videos uh, doing projects from this book. So that's my other thing that I've been working on. That's exciting. Uh, the other thing I wanted to mention before I get on to the stash diving. Um, oh, two things I wanted to mention. I am... Super, super excited to start Consider the Lilies. Um, I've been seeing Nicole's progress um, and some other people's progress on Instagram and um, FlossTube and I just don't think I can wait. So I do have most of the threads and I'm just waiting on some linen to arrive, which um, again, because of the postage delays, but hopefully it will arrive next week. Uh, and then I'm probably going to start that because I keep seeing it's just so lovely. Anyway, so that was one thing that thought I'd share. Uh, and the other thing is that I think this year for the first time uh, I might do Stitch Mania, especially because I bought this exciting little book from Amazon, which is basically just a um, little uh, journal slash catalogue of all your Stitch Mania 2020 projects. So I think I'm going to do Stitch Mania this year. I haven't really decided whether I'm going to do like every single day whether I'm going to do a new project every single day or whether, yeah, I don't know. I'm still working it out. Um, but I figure that it's probably a good year to do it because if I'm predominantly going to be working from home in May, which I think is going to be the case, I don't think they're going to be changing that anytime soon, then it's kind of easier to start new things. Um, sort of you could say, okay, well, after work each day, I'm going to start this project and you're already at home and it doesn't take as long to get the stuff out and you can have it all pre-organized ready to go um so I think I'm going to give it a go I'll probably try and limit it to small things instead of starting like you know 31 enormous samplers which although that would be quite fun but anyway so uh my next video I think I'm going to try and get myself organized with some um working out what projects I'm going to start I'm going to try and make and do it mostly from stuff that I've already got kitted I don't want to have to be like buying a bajillion more supplies um but then we've got the stash dive coming up where i'll probably be like oh i'm gonna do this for stitch mania oh why don't i do that for stitch mania oh i'm gonna order some linen oh anyway you know how it goes people you know how it goes um okay so that probably concludes the main part of the like the normal part of the video um i'm now going to move on to a bit of a stash dive um fun thing i mean really i i could sit and watch someone going through all their patterns and all their kitted projects i could sit and watch that for hours on end and never ever get bored um but i'm insane um but hopefully a lot of you are too because these people's videos on FlossTube who are going through their stuff and just being like hey here's all my patterns like they people are loving it i'm loving it so uh i'm gonna do that and if you don't if that's not your thing that's cool um i will see you next time but if it is your thing then get excited. Uh, I've probably forgotten that I even have half these patterns, you know, like it's just gonna be kind of insane. So I'm just gonna have a little bit of Pepsi. I don't have a glass. Okay. So as I said, I keep all my smaller patterns, as in patterns that aren't A4 size, um, in, in a little, for now in a little thingy um i'm i once i move once we move house um we don't know where yet but we're buying a new house once we move house and i set up my sort of stitching room or whatever then i'll have a better system but this is that'll do for now um so these aren't in any order they're not alphabetical they're not in order by designer they're literally just thrown in thrown in there so we'll just see what comes out uh, all right, so, so this first few are a few Christmassy ones. So we've got um, Snow for Christmas by Brenda Gervais. I'll turn it that way. I think it was a bit of glue there. Okay, it's 
pretty cute. I'm writing a sheep. It's a cute little Christmas one. Uh, another Christmas one. Oh, I love this. See, here we go. I love this. I don't know why I haven't done anything about this. This is Heaven and Nature Sing by Brenda Gervais. That's so cute. I think they've finished it into like a sort of a bag thing. I probably wouldn't do that. I'd just make it into an ornament, into a pillow, but so cute. That is from yeah, oh, 2012. Oh, it's pretty old. Well, uh, and the linen they've recommended is 30 count. Well, I won't be doing 30 count, but that's okay. Um, Cafe Kona linen by R&R. So, very cute. All right. Uh, there's another Brenda Gervais Christmas pattern. This is nice. I've seen quite a few people have stitched this. And it's cute. Um, Noel. It's called Mary Noel. It's a cute pillow. 40 count legacy. And some over dyed cottons. Um, this is, oh yeah, this is cute. The picture is probably, this is probably one of these ones where the picture doesn't do it justice. Um, Nikki's Creations Animal Farm. Sorry for the glare. I'm not going to take all these out of the packet so I don't take too long. So that's just a cute little animals thing. Uh, DMC. Cute. Uh, Plum Street Samplers Mermaid Fractor. Oh, yeah, I like these fractor thingies. This is cute too with the little mermaids. 1837. Uh, and it calls for R&R. Reproductions 36 count sea fog. Oh, I think I've got some of that. Hmm. This might. Hmm. Should I move this into a newly created mania pile? Could be mermania. Okay, that's this. Silly. Yeah, that's cute anyway. Hmm. I'll put that in a separate pile, so watch that space. Uh, this is Lucy Beam Love in Stitches. I really like her patterns. She has some really cool original little things. This is Rabbit House. Again, why haven't I stitched this? It's so cute. Look, it's a little rabbit. So cute. Uh, and that's uh, using Weeks and Gentle Art Threads. And they've stitched it on Cappuccino by Weeks Style Works. But you could use pretty much anything. It's very cute. Um... Oh, this I've shown this. I think I showed this on maybe my, one of my the first video. This is um I've finished this project and I've shown it. This is the pattern for Not Forgotten Farm Weep Not, which was my my um finish with the ladies at the funeral. That's really cute. But yeah, I've shown that. Uh, what's this? Lizzie Kate Winter Smalls. Oh, these are cute. Oh, I like those little sheep. Look at these guys. And there's some little buttons and stuff included. It's cute. Ah, oh, this I love. Actually, I think someone just started this. Maybe it was Laura. I think she might have serial started it. And it's so cute. And I've had it for ages. Why haven't I done it? Pinebury Lane. Sisters Farm Fresh Eggs. Look, and there's like a lady and a chicken and it says eggs. You know what this means. This is moving into the pile, the other pile. I love that. And oh, look, it's, and it's using DMC. I've probably got all those DMCs. And Lakeside Linen Vintage Sand Dune. I don't know if I've got that, but I've got something similar. Hmm. I'm going to put that into the other pile. Uh, next we have Blackbird, The Summer Beaming Forth. This is one of the For the Bird series. This is number eight. I've stitched, I think, six of these. I think I've got three left to go. Actually, I should probably finish those. Um, but this is number eight, The Summer Beaming Forth. I need to finish these because I've got the others done and I think what I'm going to do, I, I was undecided about what to do with them all, but I think what I'm going to do is trim them down, like pull a thread in the linen for each, trim them all down and then actually just sew them all together into one big sort of patchwork piece, even though the linen, uh, and actually the, I've got the linen in here at a random weeks, but the linens that I've, I haven't done them all in the same colour, but I think it'll still look okay if they're all kind of, I don't know, I don't know, we'll see, but that's number eight, that's very cute. Uh, Heartstring Samplery, Poppy May Russell. Oh, this is cute. I haven't seen many people do this one. Well, I haven't seen it finished, I don't think, but it's very cute. It's a red, oh, is it all red? It's not all red. And what does it say? 
See the early blossoms springing, see the jocund lambkins play, hear the lark and linnet singing, welcome to the newborn day. Oh, that's cute. And that's on Weeks Cappuccino using Weeks threads. Cute. Um, there's another Plum Street. Oh, this is cute. See, I'm like a broken record. Uh, Henpeck. I love these little chickens. And even though, again, I, I think I've said before, even though I'm not American and have no connection to America, um, I really like the, the Americana type stuff. I think it's just because I like the colours. Red, white and blue is like a really good combination. I just like these little American things. So I would leave that as is. I wouldn't change those flags or anything if I stitched this. I just think it's really cute. It's henpeck. Speaking of Americana, Chessie and Me. This is Lincoln Home 1860 sampler. Oh, it's like ridiculously windy outside, but I thought the house had just blown down, but it hasn't. Uh, this is really cool. Uh, I'm, uh, I assume this is Abraham Lincoln's house. American viewers can assist, but I'm guessing that's what his house looked like. Uh, and it's got like this cool fruit ball and a little horse. And then the little verse says, I like to see a man proud of the place in which he lives. I like to see a man live so that his place is proud of him. Cool. I like that. Uh, and that's using, what have they done here? Classic Colourworks and some weeks. Um, oh, yeah, here the pattern tells you. Here we go. What does it say? It says... Yes, this was the home of Abraham and Mary Todd Lincoln in Springfield, Illinois. It was here they raised their family and Lincoln, the backwoods lawyer, not backwards as in stupid, backwoods as in from the backwoods, rises to become president-elect at the eve of the Civil War. Cool. There you go. So that is his house. Well, I really like that. It's really cute. Okay. Uh, another Plum Street. Oh, this is another one in that animal, in those animal stack series. This is Gobble Gob. Some little turkeys. It's cute. Cute. Um, oh, this, I love this. Nikki's Creations again. This, I think, maybe came out last year at market or something. I'm just seeing if it doesn't have a year on it. Clocks C-L-O-X sampler. This is cool. This is like a black piece. Although they say DMC 317. What's that? That's not black. Maybe it's really, really dark blue or really, really dark gray or something. But I'd probably do it in black. But yeah, like that. That'd be a good, like, quick mania. I'm putting that on the other pile. Stacey Nash, 1806 Manor House Sewing Roll. Oh, this, this house. Look at this house. Oh, my goodness. I was just watching Carol Saltbox Stitcher um, and she was talking about samplers with red houses in them. This is a good one. Uh, what red is it? Let's see if it says what red it is. Weak Style Works Merlot. That's a red, but that's pretty dark. Baked Apple? Maybe it's Baked Apple. Oh, I don't know. Anyway, love that. Oh, another Fractor, Plum Street. This is Blackbird Fractor. Oh, I like this too. I like those birdies. That's very cool. And what's the black? Mascara. That's a good black. That's a Weak Style Works. That's a cool black. Yeah, I like that too. Maybe that'll go on the Mania pile. Could replace the mermaids. Although I did like the Mermania pun. Maybe I'll keep it. Um, oops. Brenda Gervais, Summer at Cherry Hill. I love this. This is just really cute. Lots of nice reds. Corn husk. No, that's not red. Chili pepper. Classic colour works. Chili pepper. It's a cool red. And it calls for sand by Picture This Plus. Oh, I think I've got some sand by Picture This Plus. Cute. Here's another Lucy Beam. Love in Stitches. And she has that 
this, this must be a series of like the different houses because the rabbit one and this one's called crown house and this is really cool too why haven't i done that look at that love that the whole house is wearing a crown it's a good it's kind of christmasy but not it doesn't scream christmas but it's christmasy um and that is week's dye works threads and they've stitched on 36 count legacy by which is plus but you can do whatever um oh this is lovely and i think someone was showing this on their video not that long ago too i got this a while ago and i don't know why i haven't done it because it's so cute this is merry wind farm girls in blue dresses how cute are they why haven't i done that many reasons um what does it say oh it says Oh, so, so it is a reproduction. I wasn't sure if it was a reproduction, but I think yeah, it says this delightful reproduction sampler depicts two young girls, perhaps sisters, in their best blue dresses and fancy red shoes, posing proudly beneath a pomegranate tree. They stand on a lush lawn with a pair of rabbits and a deer. Although unsigned and undated, the style of work would indicate it was worked in the early to mid-19th century. Cute! And that uses uh, a bit of everything, some DMC and a few gentle art. Oh, this is cool. I like this little Halloween Perry school. Perry? Prairie school? Miss Fortune? I love her. She's very cool. This one's especially for Jean. We have a running joke because, <laughs> because I love Halloween um, stitching. And so does another friend in our sewing group, um, Alison. She lo we both love Halloween stitching and Jean cannot stand it. So every time I have a Halloween chart or a Halloween finish or something, I'm always like, oh, you'll love this one, Jean. And then I show it to her and she's like, oh God, it's hideous. <laughs> it's pretty funny. But yeah, this one's cute. Um, Stacey Nash, Animal Crackers. I haven't done any of the Animal Crackers. I think I've got a lot of the charts, but I haven't actually done any of them. This is Harrison. The little rabbit he's very cute with his little bag of carrots so cute um is this Ooh, another pinebury lane sarah platt 1811 oh i like that that's got a lot of nice sort of golds and purples in it old purple paint yeah i like that color sarah platt 1811 Oh, and also, oh, includes pattern and instructions for this sweet marigolds pin keep. So you can do the little, oh, that's the antique, I think, the original sampler. And then you can do this little marigolds pin keep. That's cute. Um, oh, this is fabulous. I've, I've had this for ages. 2014 it came out. I don't know, that's when I got it. But, uh, Brenda Gervais A and E. The little, it's a little Adam and Eve. And it just says, the serpent deceived me and I ate. How cute. Love that. Why haven't I done that? I'm crazy. Um, oh, this is a fairly new one. Oh, look, and I've got some threads in there. A Merry Christmas sampler by La Di Da. Oh, I keep, sorry, I keep knocking the table. That's cute. And I've got, how many colours do I don't think it calls for that many colours, but I seem to have got some of them in there anyway. Ooh showing the chart sorry love that. oh yeah this is a this is a i need to get get onto this um reflet de soie g leger 1898 red speaking of red houses here we go um i want to pull all the threads and make sure that they're antique looking enough. I think I've, a few people have had problems um, with things not looking as cool and faded as they do in this picture. And I want it to look cool and faded like this picture. So, yep, I'll get around to that. Here's another Lardy Da and that I seem to have got all the threads for as well. Sweet Sophia. Sweet Sophia. So that's... I don't think this is a reproduction, but it's cute. And it's this little section here, I think is over one, these little flowers. That's cute. And the colors are nice, I can't really see them. Yeah, so it's like these, some nice golds and stuff. And then there's some 
like a dark grey and some greens. Hmm, it's cute. She uses nice, she always, la -di -da has a lot of DMC. Always seem to choose really nice colors. Um, oh, I showed this not that long ago. This was one that I ordered a little while ago. Christmas stuff, Gingerbread Trio by Little House New Works. Just thought it was cute. And there's some of the threads in there. Cute. Um, oh, I showed this not that long ago too because I didn't. I got it recently. Not Forgotten Farm Nantucket Broom Ride. The Witch Riding the Whale. Why haven't I done this? That's going on the pile for the mania thing. Look at that. You're on a whale. Um, oh, this I love. I love Stacey Nash Schoolgirl Sampler Sewing Bag. Another red house. Look at that. Oh, what am I doing? What am I doing with my life? Why haven't I done this? Love it. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, I've shown this before, but it's great. Hannah Carter, 1838, Shakespeare's Peddler. Love that. Patchwork D, Heart and Hand, Christmas. Cute. Oh, another Scarlet House that I love, 1871 School House Sampler with the little people outside their school. It's really cute. Plum Street. Oh, this is cute. Why haven't I done this? Okay, this is, you're probably getting really sick of me saying that. Sampler Lessons, Lesson 3. It's got the bees. The daily labours of the bee awake my soul to industry. Look at the little bees. Beehives. Bee skeps. Bees. I need to do that. It's got classic colour works. So cute. Oh, these, were, these are actually kits um, from the Scattered Seed Samplers Club. These are from last year's club. Um, the Birds of a Feather series. I haven't done any of these, but maybe this is, I should get onto these because these are just gorgeous. Set free pin keep. Look at that. And look at this. Look at all the stuff. Just, oh, it's just beautiful. Look at that fabric with the birds on it. Wow. And a little bird cage motif. The, uh, what's it called? I don't know. Cute. And there's another two. I've got two more of these from last year's one. Little Berry Thief Pink Heap. This is like a strawberry. I've never tried making something up into a strawberry. Maybe I should try this. Look how cute that is. And look, you get all the stuff. You get a little strawberry. Love it. And Together Forever Pin Keep Drum. Oh, here's another. Here I could try my hand at turning things into a drum. This is cute. It's got swan on it. And then you get... Little swans. So cute. I love these. I really like this club. This is one of my favourite clubs. I'm only in this one and the country sample one. Um, and I love this one. I'm in this, like the new one for this, and I love it. Oh, speaking of bees, Lucy Beam, a bee skip drum roll. And you can't really see what it says. I've oh look, I've got all the threads in there. The threads are pretty cool colours. Picture of the whole thing because it actually goes all the way around. No, there's no picture of the whole thing, which is a bit crazy. But it says a a B skip, and then it's got the little skip in the middle and the little honeycomb stitches. Yeah, I don't know, it's really cute, and the colours are great. Oh, and here's the, another one of those scattered seed. I think this was the first one. Fruit of the Vine Needle Roll. I think this might now actually be available as a chart. So cute. Um, this is cute. La di da, oh birdie. Cute little pillow. Plum Street, French Woolens, very cute, little sheepy. Um, more Plum Street, Friends of the Heart, this is lovely. I don't know why I haven't done that either. 
Oops, just trying to get clear. It's very cute. Um, oh, these are really, oh, these are really old. And I've got these at like garage sales or, um, you know, D stash things. This is a lavender and lace chart, little wings. Which I quite like. I think I like these ones that don't have, they don't have any of the beads or the, um, you know, the sparkly threads or anything, which, which are lovely and it's just not my thing. But these ones, these sort of earlier ones were just stitched and they're kind of lovely sort of Victorian type things. Actually, I like them. And then, and so because they don't have the beads and the sparklies and stuff, you could do them on a small account fabric. You could do them on 40 or 46 because you don't need the, the gap, you know, the spacing for the beads and whatever isn't going to be a problem. Yeah, I really like that. And this is an old, uh, is it told in a garden, I think? Yeah, this is strawberries. Which is also really cute. Uh, we're not really even halfway through this box, so I'll probably do the um, second half. I might do a few more, and then I'll do the second half in another video. Uh, so let's just do a few more. Pinebury Lane again. Love this. Merry Halloween. How cool is that? Love it. Um, oh, I've actually, I've finished this, and it's at work. I have it on my desk at work. So I don't actually have it. And I fully finished it too, but I don't have it here. I'll try and remember next time I go into the office to bring it back. This is from the Bowl Full of Scaries Plum Street series. This is scary number one. And it's a little witch in the forest and there's like a snake that goes all the way around. It's really cute. But yeah, I finished it and it looked really cute. I do remember to bring it. Um, and then last one for today, Animal Crackers. Clementine, which is the cat. She's really cute. Her dress is really sweet. And then on the back, you turn it into a little scissor pocket or something. Cute. All right. Well, that's just half. There's this much more. So we'll do some more if everyone enjoys that. If you had, if you liked that, leave a comment. Tell me what you thought of my crazy sash dive. Tell me what you think of Mermania. You can see I'm really proud of that one. Um, I'll just put a marker there. So it seems like I've pulled out, these are the ones that I've pulled out and put separately. Schoolgirl sampler bag, witch on the whale, blackbird tractor, clocks, eggs, and mermaid. So I'm going to keep those aside and they might be featuring in my mania plans, maybe. Okay, uh, I'm going to go now. Um, it's Saturday. It's Easter Saturday here today. I've been eating some hot cross buns. I think I'm going to go have another one because they're really delicious. Um, so hope everyone's having a lovely Easter, even though you can't really go anywhere. I hope you're still having a nice time and getting lots of ticking done and enjoying lots of floss tube like I have been. I've also, oh, the other thing, uh, a lot of people I think uh, like listening to audiobooks and podcasts and stuff while they're stitching. So I just thought I'd recommend a podcast. Um, there's a, her, her name is Phoebe and I've forgotten her surname, but she normally hosts a podcast called Criminal. And that's a weekly podcast that just has different stories about crime and criminal things. And I'm just generally interested in that sort of stuff. Um, so I listen to that. But what she's doing at the moment, uh, because of the isolation thing, is uh, she started a new podcast called Phoebe Reads a Mystery. And uh, it's every day is a new episode. And she, will re she reads a chapter from a famous mystery story every day. So she's up to the second story. So the first one she did was the very first um, Hercule Poirot mystery by Agatha Christie, which was called The Mysterious Affair at Styles. And so she read a chapter a day of that. So that's available. You could 
you could listen to the whole thing because that's finished. And then last week, um, she started um, The Hound of the Baskervilles by uh, Arthur Conan Doyle's Sherlock Holmes story. Uh, and that's, she's currently up to, I think, about chapter five of that. And I've been listening to that. Um, Hound of the Baskervilles is probably one of my absolute favourite mystery stories ever. It is so good. Um, and she reads, and she's a really good reader. She reads really well and it's lovely. And so I recommend that if you're into sort of classic mysteries um, and it's free and um, yeah, it's a chapter a day. So I'm hoping she keeps going. Um, well, I think it's lots of people seem to enjoy it. So hopefully she keeps going. Anyway, just thought I'd recommend that. Um, and yeah, so next video, I uh, might do the second half of the stash dive small box. Uh, hopefully I might have a finish. Uh, and maybe some mania plans. Okay, well, I hope everyone take care and uh, see you next time.